Sasa mume nileta mbaka hapa. And I'm a happy mother today. Kuona vile mmecheza. Wote mmecheza vizuri na tukae chini. The area MP, Honorable KJ, and my friend, one of the youthful leaders who have a great future. Thank you for the good work you are doing with the people of Dagoretti who elected you. The area MCA and MCA from the neighboring counties, the area DCC, Mr. Atemo, national government administration and security teams, bishops, pastors, reverends, apostles, and the clergy that is here. I salute you and honor your anointing and the good work that you are doing as a church. So we clap for our clergy. Our community health workers, we really appreciate the good work you are doing. Kazi rila mnafanya ni mungu tu ataweza kualipa. Mungu abzidi kuwabariki zaidi. The community leaders who are here, mothers who are here, wazazi ambao mumefika hapa, tupigie wazazi wetu makofi, wamekuja kuona watoto wao na hii dio form. Ati mama akiitwa anasimama nyuma ya mtoto wake. We are very happy. I am very excited and proud as a mother. My boys, ladies and gentlemen. Munikubali kwanza nisome hii alafu tuonge. Sindio? Because there is some things that we have to speak so that they are heard by everybody. But before I'd say that, there is a verse in Job 11, verse 18 and 19 that I love. And it says, you will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. You will lie down with no one to make you afraid. And many will court your favor. Mungu anasema... Utaka ukiwa na security around you. My boys, siku zingine makarao kazi yao ilikuwa kukimbizana na nyinyi. Sinikweli. Na sasa, marafiki wakualinda. So it is possible tukifanya mambo ambaye ikondani ya sheria na tukiwa na ndoto zetu na tufuatane nazo ata mungu atabadirisha mambo mengi kwetu. Na ndiyo mungu anasema itakuwa vyema na nyinyi. Hape new year. Hape new year. Huu mwaka utakuwa mwaka ambaye mungu atawabariki mubarikike na muwe watu wakitakuwa na furaha so good morning and a happy new year to the people of Dagureti I am greatly excited to be with you this morning as the year begins and I am happy we have deliberately begun on a, on a purpose and on the right footing it is indeed a significant moment in our journey towards realizing our full potential, towards a great purpose, a big future, and we are all ready for it. My boys, are you ready? Yes. I stand here wearing many caps, the get, uh, the, uh, many caps. The greatest of them all is a mother. I am your mother. And I said I'll continue kuwa mama wenu. Nitawapenda na nitangangana mbaka nione mumefika pale mungu anataka kuafikisha. And I'm not just a mother. 
but I am a concerned mother. You may wonder why I am concerned, I'm a concerned mother on a mission to ensure a dignified future for the boy child. For far too long, not only in our nation, but across the nations, the boy child has been left voiceless. The results of this neglect are too far-reaching for the, for the blind to see, even for the deaf to hear. If we look around and we see, we can tell there is something, there is an error, and there is a mistake that happened within the communities, and that's why we have men who we need to rehabilitate. And this error must be corrected. I decided never to keep quiet, never to tire until the boy child has a voice until the boy child has a dignified future until we see the dignified future just like the girl child the affirmative uh, action for the boy is as good as the affirmative uh, uh, action for the girl child because both are born by man and a woman and I believe the boy child is as a girl child. And therefore, we must give them equal opportunities. We need a balanced society. And to have a balanced society, we need safe communities for both the boy child and the girl child. I am an imbalanced society will be uh, in yule mtu anajaribu kufanya hivyo aache we need safe communities for both the boy and the girl any imbalance is toxic to our society and a balanced society means we shall have balanced families ni lazima tujue kama mvulana na msichana hawatawekwa kwa kiwango moja Tuangalie vizuri, tuasomeshe vilivyo, tuangalie na tuapatie kandarasi na ajira. Hatutakuwa na balanced families. So we must change the way we look at things and do it the right way. It is time to change. It is time to have an equal society. It is time for the girl and the boy child to walk together side by side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we launched the football tournament targeting those who are in alcohol and are recovering and also those who are abusing a substance and an addiction in Nairobi. We intend to have this tournament to grow into a championship that will cover the entire Republic of Kenya and transform thousands of lives in our 47 counties. Just as you love watching Arsenal and Manchester United and Chelsea games, I envision a championship that will be a must to watch for Kenyans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is for us to have an honest conversation. Let me ask you a question that echoes in silence of my heart. Do any of us desire to witness our sons, our brothers, our fathers perish without fulfilling their destiny? Mungetaka muone watoto wetu wa wavulana, mababa wakikufa tu hivi, Bila, kutumi, ku, bila kutimiza doto zao. So we must work together. And to do this, uh, we desire to witness our sons get better. We want their potential to be realized. And therefore, where they have fallen prey of the crutches of Bangi, Bombe, 
kikete hata sitakagi kusema hii kitu ya yeah? unasikia hata ni mbaya sana kiketete ni mbaya sana hii kitu even for a mother i don't want to pronounce it because i know especially he imemaliza watoto wangu mtaacha mumeacha mungu awakabariki sana If you don't want something to go into you don't name it. And that's why I'm refusing deliberately to mention hii dawa kwa sababu hii dawa imemaliza watoto wetu wengi na sio tu wavulana hata wasichana. Na sio tu nyinyi ambaye mmekosa kazi pia wale wako shule. Hii ni kitu mbaya shetani mbaya kabisa na ashindwe kabisa the time is now for us to break free from the chains that bind us that allure us to addiction and we must say no to drugs it must be defeated we are working very hard as a government and we are working very hard as parents we are working very hard as a church to make sure every one of our children stays sober addiction have stolen the dreams and aspiration of many who can have been the backbone of our nation's progress brilliant footballers visionary entrepreneurs responsible fathers dedicated farmers and promising leaders all of them have fallen under the cross of these drugs and drug addiction we must all join the government and other stakeholders efforts towards the journey of transforming our society the fight against addiction is not just for government uh, a government obligation but a collective responsibility that extends to every household to every school our communities in Kenya and we must work very hard together to win this battle while regulations and laws play a crucial role towards this end our strength lies in our personal commitment and collective actions let us stand together as couples unified in our bet, uh, in our battle against addiction let us shield our children from the snares of these destructive habits let us advocate tirelessly against alcohol and drugs within our education institutions let us also as a clergy from across faiths the muslim the hindus the christians we must come together and work as one unit to make sure this demon is defeated in conclusion my boys i want to speak to you because today as we inaugurate this program in motwini grounds let us pledge our commitment this for to this noble cause let us join hands hearts and minds in a collective effort to liberate ourselves from the shackles of addiction it is possible to do it i have seen you work through it i have seen you struggle when you are struggling against the 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 withdrawal symptoms i was there and i watched you fight fight and fight to the end upigane mpaka mshinde and i always tell you i'm praying for you just like a prodigal son come back home and enjoy what your father intended you to have and god bless you nitasema mpaka itaingia kwa mioyo yenu kwa fikra zenu kwa mawazo yenu mpaka mnachukua huyu ukiona mtoto mvulana hata kama sio wako unampenda tu kwa sababu sisi 
kama kina mama sisi kama familia ni sisi tunaweza kubadilisha maisha ya watoto wetu na hawa watoto ni watoto wa dhamani kubwa sana hawa sasa unaona hiyo mpira wanacheza ni watu tunaweza kukuza tukiwango hii mambo mnasemaga ya Manchester na nani hao watakuwa ni mchezo sisi ndio tutakuwa machampion na mapros huku and i'm committed and i'm committed sina pesa nyingi sina maarifa mingi pengine hata masomo si mingi lakini niko na upendo na niko na Mungu na hizi mbili itawezekana wao watoto wetu kesho yao ndoto zao azitaangamia na ninataka kuhimiza hivi hata katika serikali mheshimiwa nimekupatia act ambaye ina, inasimamia ambaye mnaweza ku, kuongea kwa bunge tuweze kufund the addiction programs kwa sababu hawa watoto wetu this is a, a crisis in the country and we must find a fund that will be able to cater for their rehabilitation because the rehabilitation is very expensive you can sit down I have given him something he can put there and champion it through and we see whether we can start having uh, well, money that you be able to take our children to the rehabilitation because it is very expensive. Hata hao tumepeleka wamegarimu mamilioni ya pesa. And sometimes that is why wengine hawajaenda kwa sababu hatuwezi ku afford pia niseme kuna mikakati katika serikali ambako tume sign agreement sisi kama wana wanataka kufanya hii hizi miradi ya the addiction ya watoto wetu watapatiwa nafasi wakilipia NHIF mnakwenda mna kwa kwa hospitali zile ziko and you get your treatment for free because you are very important our country about 65% is youthful this is the potential you are the ones who are going to drive the economy of this country you are the dream team that is going to change this country hakuna serikali ingine ita change nyinyi ndio muta change kwa sababu hata our president if he wanted to work and everybody was not sober they were drunk how can he drive an economy with no, without sober people na ndio nasema sisi mawazo yetu tubadilishe kwa sababu watu hasa sisi wenyewe tunaweza kufanya mambo ambaye itawapatia ajira and i have said wale wote tunapeleka rehab ni lazima tuwaunganishe na ajira We are working very hard. By the time we are through, it's only we are taking a little time to make it uh, better and open up a space so that nyinyi wote kila mtu atapata nafasi ya ajira. Na ndio tumesema wale wanaenda rehab wakitoka lazima and I will use that one it's a must that you get a job. so that we do not go back to relapsing and going back to our frustration i brought the greetings from the one and only the rigi g munapokea na ninataka kwa sababu unajua hii hii michuano i would like we pray and we pray very good tuwaite na hao wakuja watuone si ndio na unajua baba akiwa karibu na mama mambo yanakuwa kubwa kuliko ya mama si ndio 
So I am very happy today kama tumeanza hii ni mwanzo tu tutaenda kwa ward zote za Nairobi. Nimesikia kina mama <laughs> wanataka pia <laughs> kuingia kwa kandanda. So perhaps we start a team here for kina mama alafu tuelekeze na <laughs> na watu wangu ndio mtuone vile itafukua. Lakini unajua hao watoto wangu wanaweza kuwalima sana. <laughs> Tuone haya. Eh? 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 Mnataka wa mcheze nawa? Unasikia kina mama wako gangari. Nafikiri we must start sports. And it is true we are doing I also in my office katika ofisi yangu huwa na na empower wajane na nimeanza kadanda ya wajane. <laughs> Kwa hivyo pengine hii ya wajane na hii ya wamama tukuje siku moja tuone ni gani itashinda. I'm very happy today. And thank you very much, the church. We are doing what we are supposed to do. We were called to transform lives. And when you transform life, even one, it's enough. The other day, I was studying the church. Our church is in the gutter. There is no need of every one of us fighting for congregants when the congregants are waiting for us and crying and looking for someone who can help. Let's open our church just to become feeding centers. Feed them, clothe them, love them, and change their lives. There are some of them who don't need to go for rehabilitation. As pastors, as clergy, even the Muslim in Mombasa, we are working with them. Because the, the ones who are in addiction, they are not only Christians. Even the Hindus in Parklands, we are working with them because a child is a child. And I don't care whether they are Muslim or they are Christians or they are what. My work is to make sure our children stay sober and their dreams are validated. And we are going to work as clergy. We promise you we will love you and we will work with you. God bless you. We will continue to come and watch. And of course, at the end there, that is a very big price. Na form ni nini? Form ni kuriform. Na vile ni tumesema mukicheza tutakuwa tuna pick the best na wale awarudi huko. Tutaform team moja yao ambao yule ametoka ame reform anaingia kwa hiyo. Na hiyo nitakuwa ninaiangalia na macho yangu mawili. Watakuwa na uniform na nitakuwa ni wanawapeleka nje. We are going to change. We are going to be game changers here. So that those ones who are sober and continue to be sober, they cannot be treated the same. So we must get teams that will start going up so that also we give ourselves incentives. Ata mama ako mkleva. Sindio? Mokoro hata rea najua. Tukifika hapo. Na tutaudiza abuda uko. Ikifika hapo, atupatie bus. Ya kuwa tunapeleka kuchuana na wengine uko. Nikweli? I just want a good team. We form one marvelous team. Alafu tutakuwa tunawonyesha. Tulikuwa pale. Sasa tumegeuka. Tuko wapi? Hapa. Na form ni? Amen. Asateli sana. Kukongezo nama kwa makofi nyameni. Na kukiedelea kusimama bila kuketi. Kwa rusa yako mwishmua. Mgeni rasmi.